There is a void inside of men. And if you're watching this, I have a feeling that you have faced this void many times. It's what leads us to consume pornography, to drink alcohol every weekend, to play video games hours and hours on end. It is that need to escape. And I've experienced that most of my life. And it's extremely painful. Getting on the other side of that was probably my biggest achievement to date. I wouldn't trade that for a billion dollars. I wouldn't trade that for all of the validation and attention from every beautiful woman that you could possibly imagine. And I believe that it is every man's journey to venture into that void that void inside of their chest as deeply as humanly possible. What does that mean? That means getting rid of your vices. How the fuck do you get rid of your vices? Well, you don't get rid of your vices by guilting yourself and shaming yourself to try harder. You quit your vices by examining them. Whenever you're participating in your vices, whenever you're participating in PMO or alcohol or whatever the vice of choice might be for you, be aware, be conscious of it as you're doing it. A big realization I had was years ago, I was consuming pornography, participating in PMO. And there was this strange moment, this feeling of awareness, even in the midst of the very act. I was neck high. I found the perfect video. I was going all the way with that, feeling the dopamine rush. And in the midst of that, there was a piece of me that felt separate from the entire experience, just observing myself. And I could see myself as this wounded child, this wounded little kid who had this wound, this void, this feeling of abandonment. And as I was in the midst of participating in this thing, that side of me had love and compassion for that kid. And this created an awakening within me call it the grace of God, call it whatever you want, but it changed my perspective and it changed my life. And the energy that I bring to things like physical fitness, getting in shape, I believe that if every man is honest with themselves, they want to be ripped. They want to look in the mirror and be proud of the masculine physique that they have. If every man is honest with themselves, they don't want to spend hours on end immersed in a video game, leveling up some digital character. They want to feel that way about their actual lives. And the reliance on these vices, it creeps up on you. Before you know it, you're a full grown man and you look at yourself and you're not happy with the version of yourself that you are. This is the story for a lot of men and there is a treasure and a blessing in this feeling of dissatisfaction. We're the ones who bring shame and guilt to it. So be aware of that. Be conscious of these things you're doing. There is a higher part of you that is beyond all of this. I know I tend to find my way to more spiritual and metaphysical concepts. And brother, that's because that is the objective truth of things. And I only know this because of the experiences that I've had for myself. I grew up in religion. I grew up believing that people who didn't believe the religion that I was involved in were going to hell. I believed a lot of things. And then when I realized that was bullshit, I became an atheist for a solid two years. It was pure nihilism. What's the purpose of life? Just to be here 
to survive, to look after yourself, to gain as much pleasure as you possibly can. And I got to the darkest possible depths that I could possibly get to. And from that place, that's when things started to awaken for me. Now, every path is different. To say that it's a blanket, there's somebody running through. Everybody's path is different. To give a blanket statement that you have to go into the depths of darkness to find your true essence, that's true for a lot of people. For some people, they're just born into this world with more insight. Maybe they've lived past lives. I don't know, but for whatever reason, they get it. A solution, believe it or not, is to focus on all of the superficial things that are within your control. If you look in the mirror, naked and you're dissatisfied with how you look if you feel disgusted bring awareness to that understand the shame that you feel is not who you are but then take action to fix that it's a loving indicator from something higher that you're not the version of yourself that you can be same thing with pmo if you find yourself looking at a screen watching another guy fuck a girl that you find attractive and you feel this gross feeling inside We're the ones who create the shame. We're the ones who create the gross feeling. But there is an indicator beneath all the layers of that, and that's your conscience. And your conscience is literally the voice of God. And that voice has gotten so buried by so many things and so many distractions that we go deeper and deeper into the darkness. And I believe that that's why the suicide rate is so fucking high. We need to quiet ourselves. We need to go within. And if you're listening to this from a deeper part of yourself, I know that you know this is true. And I also know that you know that I fucking love you. And the only reason I'm able to speak from this place is because of the darkness that I've been through, the healing that I've done. So all that to be said, if you're... Same guy? Same guy. So all that to be said, if you're watching this and you feel stirring within you, then you are growing. You are healing. Continue to just shine a light of awareness on these things. Speak to other people about it if they are open. If other people are on this path, bringing them into your world can expedite the process significantly. I wish that another man that I respected came to me 10 years ago, looked me in the eye, and told me these things from a place of love. It would have saved me years and years of pain and heartache And that's assuming my heart would have been open back then. I'd like to think that it would be, but who knows? Maybe I got exactly what I needed. Maybe all of the experiences I've had that have led me to this point was the exact thing that my spirit needed in order to heal, in order to be fulfilled, in order to be open to the truth that there's more to life than what society tells you. And I'm telling you what the answer is. And the answer isn't me. The answer isn't something else. The answer is within you. Strip away the vices, or at least take steps towards ridding yourself of those vices. And what will be left will be the voice of your conscience. And it will be louder than ever once you remove these layers and these distractions. Get into the best shape of your life. Quit PMO. Cold approach pretty girls that you're terrified of. These are all surface layer things that tend to trigger something deeper. Especially if you're intentional and your heart is open, what you will find through self-improvement is usually very spiritual and very metaphysical. It's almost like God the higher self within you tends to reveal itself once you start doing this kind of work. But it's very easy to avoid now more than ever because of all the distractions. Entertainment that is literally engineered to 
suck your attention away from you. Get back into this moment. It is the only thing that exists. Look within. Double down on self-improvement. If your motivation is self-loathing, that's okay. Oftentimes, that's the beginning motivator. But what happens is, as you work on yourself, as you're, as you're going to the gym, watching your body transform, starting to have daily disciplines, that self-loathing inevitably turns into self-love. And once that switch happens, man, it's game over. Because love is the most powerful fucking thing in the universe. And that is what your essence is. Even the self-loathing is disguised as love. Go into it. Watch as the darkness within you turns into light. And your whole world will change. Moving forward, I might start talking less about spiritual aspects because... I like that self-improvement is this tool, this incognito tool that if you're serious about and earnestly moving towards, inevitably leads to a spiritual awakening within you, especially if you have an open heart, if you're sensitive to these things. I don't know why I always do that. I always start filming the videos when the sun is going down and then I can't finish it because it's dark. So I move to a parking lot of a hospital. This is my car, by the way, the one that I used to film all those car chat videos. What I was saying is that oftentimes self-improvement is spirituality incognito. We don't realize what we're getting into. We start from a superficial place of wanting to get ripped, wanting to get better at talking to girls, wanting to quit our vices like pornography and alcohol. But oftentimes what's hidden in the journey of that is something very spiritual and metaphysical and life-changing and it gets us in touch with what our true essence is so on the surface yes this is a self-improvement channel i want you to do all those things i want you to get good at talking to girls i want you to quit pmo i want you to get rid of your vices and become the version of yourself that you admire the treasure and gold beneath the surface of all of that will be much deeper than you could possibly imagine especially if you have an open heart and you're setting your intention and at least have an openness towards spiritual things and maybe a nagging suspicion that you aren't just this physical body or this character that we've been taught our whole lives that we are. All that being said, on March 11th, I'm launching a very in-depth body transformation course. It's everything I've learned in the last 15 years when it comes to fitness and nutrition. I've consumed a lot of bullshit over the years and I had to sift through a lot of things to find what actually works and what actually is effective when it comes to getting into incredible shape. I believe that this course will shave years and years off of your fitness and health journey. Right now, how I'm going to do this is members in the Conscious Men community will automatically get access to it. The cost of the community right now is very, very cheap. It is a fraction of what this fitness course is worth. However, I feel obligated to tell you that on March 11th, when the course launches, I'm going to double the cost of the community. The monthly cost will be doubled. If you get in right now, you will be locked into the current price forever. So not only will you get the course, but you will also get ongoing support access to me. If you have any additional questions, I can guide you through things. We do weekly Zoom calls. So this is for people who are very serious about finally getting into the best shape of their life. I made this course with love. I made this course from a place of conviction and wanting to just genuinely help people. And no, it is not free. Just like how authors of books sell the book that they've spent all this time and years and years on. But the value will far outweigh what the current cost of is. If you want to just join the community for one month and watch the course, and if it's not for you, you can just cancel immediately. But I think pretty quickly you'll see the depth and the value that's in it. And if you truly deep down are ready to cut the bullshit and get into the best shape of your life, get into alignment with who you know you can be in that area, this is the time to take action. You are loved, you matter, and you've barely scratched the surface of what you're capable of. I hope that you know that. I'll talk to you soon. We're still human